What color do you want, she said? Mm, can I get teal? Hey everyone, this is Abby, your hygienist here at Two Time Family Dentistry. You know the drill. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment below any content you'd like to see. First, we'll go ahead and show you a video on a progress on a patient who has had an impacted canine. So in, with this patient, you've already seen most of her progress in some of the previous videos. You can go ahead and look at the comment section below. It'll go ahead and give you all the direct links to those videos. So with this patient, she had some expansion and from the very beginning, we're gonna have to place an expander. So what we did, we placed it on the top and this is gonna go ahead and open up the palate a little bit more to open up the bite and adjust her alignment of her teeth. As you can see, now the expander has reached its limits of expansion. We're gonna go ahead and do an exposed and bond. Remember a video that we showed you in the past, an exposed and bond is when we kind of laser off some of the gum and expose the tooth that's impacted. We place a button with a zingo and it kind of pulls the tooth down to go into alignment as we're straightening the teeth. Now you might have some questions, why is it taking so long or it didn't take that long, does it hurt, what am I going to expect? The questions are, every patient is different, every case is different, teeth can be stubborn or teeth can kind of follow the guidance of where you want the tooth to go quite quickly. So sometimes the exposing bond, the tooth can shift within a month or two and some can take up to nine to 10 months. You just have to make sure you stay patient during the process and also be very efficient at cleaning the area. Make sure there's no bacteria buildup because you can also get um, an infection around that area. Use your water pick on a gentle mode or just brush very softly with a soft toothbrush. Remember that you can also use some hydrogen peroxide with some water to do some rinses to kind of clean any of the bacteria off as well. What color do you want to say? Mm, can I get... Uh, mm, teal? Mm -hmm. Good teal? Yeah. Now will this probably hurt mm, more sore than anything because during the process you usually get numb for the procedure and then afterwards is when you kind of feel the tenderness and soreness especially when they change out or refresh the zingos you feel a little bit more pressure because the tooth is moving down. Now in this patient's case it is taking a while for the tooth to come down but remember like i said you have to trust the process before things get better they get worse that it's always our model here in, in ortho If you're looking at this video, go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment below any content you'd like to see. Thank you for watching. We are 202K and we are kind of going up from there on out. So you see in these videos, there's going to be just a lot of activation from the Zingo. That means we're going to just go ahead and refresh it by putting a new Zingo or pulling it more further and tying a tighter knot. This is allowing more force to bring the tooth down. 
So some might get a chain, some might get a zingo. Honestly, it's just case to case. What can happen sometimes when you activate the zingo, the zingo wants to move side to side. So we're gonna go ahead and we place some crimp stops from one end to the other end. And this will help prevent the zingo from moving any kind of different direction. That's gonna prevent the zingo from activating. So remember, if you feel any soreness, you can always take some Tylenol, use some ice packs, or you can just make sure you use your mouth rinse with some hydrogen peroxide to help with any of the comfort. And if you're curious about more of that information, you can go ahead and look at, at one of our short videos on our YouTube, and that will be me giving you more information. And you know, just to be a little friendly, don't forget to give me that like or a comment below just to kind of interact with me. on remember the things that you have to invest in to make sure that you keep your braces clean from the very beginning that's a water pick which is a lot of people know know it as a water flosser remember do not substitute your water flosser for a floss use your electric toothbrush use the tooth bristles your wax if you're ever in any discomfort and then make sure you're diligent with brushing at least three times a day And you can see a little treat. We're gonna go ahead and show you the progress of the patient's um, case from the very beginning to the very end right now. So go ahead and remember, like, subscribe, go follow us on our link, comment below any content you'd like to see, and we'll see you at the next video. Bye. If you like braces content and you wanna see more, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. Yeah.